I hey. love the has been uh, has been hotel. This show's phenomenal. Um, look, I was hooked right from that intro. That intro hooked me. I fell in love with the show and the, and the music. My God, the music is incredible. Uh, for both of your both of your characters are new uh, to the world of the has been hotel. What can we expect from loot, uh, Jessica? Um, uh, all I can say at this time, because I am very, very under lock and key here, Joe, is um, that uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Everything that you we've just met loot. She is an antagonistic angel exorcist. Um, I, I don't I think I'm surprised at what's to come. Um, and I think everybody will have a lovely um, mouth wide open gasp. Um and there's just there's a lot that's to come. But I must say the villain era is strong with this one. I love that. Now, now, uh, Daphne, can you tell me a little bit about Carmela and uh, what we can expect from her this season? Carmela Carmine is um, a weapons dealer from hell and she's an overlord and she's also a mother. So I think that that kind of wraps it up, you know, that tells you what her capacities are <laughs> and what's important in her wheelhouse. She's a, she's a big bitch in the community. That's right. That's absolutely true. Now look, Vivian is, is an incredible creator. I feel like she just, man, she blew me away with this series. And, and I really mean like them from the music, this is essentially like a Broadway musical in animated form. Um, I know. And, and it's an absolutely incredible. Can you guys talk to me about collaborating with her uh, to bring these characters to life? I mean, uh, you know, knowing that Vivian is such a, a fan of Broadway, knowing that she loves music, just I mean, as much or more than we all do kind of, is why this piece is what where it is and what it is. Um, I mean, her her brain is so packed with creativity and complexity around these characters and this storyline. I mean, like I said, you haven't seen anything yet. And we got to view the first three episodes last night in a theater and sort of watch kind and remember what we recorded all of these years ago. And she's such a collaborator. And I really mean that in a way where we don't get um, we don't get people behind the table that are necessarily all the time very much allowing us to bring ourselves to these roles in such huge ways. And just to say, let's see what sticks, you know, let's throw a bunch of weird ass pasta on the wall and see what sticks. That's what happened with my character. We did several, several iterations of who Luke could be, what she sounds like, where is she coming from, what's going to happen, you know, all of these little, you know, teasers in tiny ways of what's to come. And that is, um, it's something that I wasn't expecting. I just thought maybe I'll go into a studio and get to voice this, this thing. Cause I've always wanted to, and it, t it took on this whole new level of bringing a character to life and having an arc of something that, you know, spans uh, many an episode. And it was just, it was very cool. And then to know that Daphne was associated with this and we did not know that the other one was, and uh, the whole Broadway community last night, I was like, Oh my God, Oh my God, what? Who? I mean, it's Daphne knows. Yeah, it's like yeah. a who's who, really, right? Yeah. Now, Daphne, yeah. let me ask you this. Uh, when you were first, when you first got that script, you started reading the pages. What were some of your initial thoughts about Hasbin Hotel and what uh, attracted you to want to jump on this project? Uh, playing an animated character was the number one thing for me. Um, I love voice work. I love podcasts. I love singing. I love vocal stuff, you know? And so it was perfectly in my wheelhouse, particularly during a pandemic time when there's not much production of any kind happening. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, lockdown. So, so it, you know, and in lockdown mode, the way we worked was in silos, right? So I had no idea of what this was going to be. Right. I just liked the creator. I liked to be invited. I was happy to be invited and um, and happy to play this kind of character. And then she sings what? So that's you know. incredible. Now, Jessica, we're going to start with you on this question. What is your favorite quality about Lute and what did you want to bring to the role that wasn't on the page? Oh, gosh, that's such a great question. I mean, you know, the the thing about 
has been hotel that I think if anybody hasn't seen it yet, I think you're going to come in having an expectation of what you think heaven and hell is, or what you think these, these, um, these places should look like. And then you're going to be completely surprised by what has been hotel is bringing to you as far as the stereotypical heaven and hell vibes. Um, And I think with loot, you know, I could see the word antagonist on the page. I could see her look, which is totally really like exorcistic. Um, You know, we're, we're talking like, I don't want to be in an alley with loot. I want to get, in fight, like, you know, I, I, I would like to sort of, you know, keep my distance. But at the same time, what I wanted to bring loot was this incredible dryness, sarcasm, um, the fact that she does feel things. It's not like she's an unfeeling, you know, complete, you know, cold, heartless angel demon exorcist but you know uh but she's got all of those qualities and at the same time she actually does feel things and want to do a good job um but all of that comes across in a really misunderstood kind of way so i wanted to bring to the table that kind of grit and it gets grittier and grittier as we go on but i wanted her to be as deadpan as possible and to have that of real quality of talking and making decisions and that um, and that's really cool and to know that um all of that gets brought to life and that you get to voice something like that outside of what's on the page is is a dream incredible Carm- or, uh, carmella daphne same question yes. for you about carmella what is your favorite quality about her and what did you want to bring to the role that wasn't on the page well there was badassery on the page i just wanted to like turn up the 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 heat on, um, you know, I love the idea. I mean, it's like good guys, bad guys, evil, you know, light, dark. Um, and I like that middle place, you know, that human, might I say, place where we have a spectrum of capacity you know, and it's like, where, where do we go with that spectrum? Sure. So I love the capacity to, to be a loving mom and to, you know, be a killer too. Absolutely. Now, you know, I was shocked to find out that you guys didn't record together simply because all the chemistry is off the chain. It's incredible. Um, can you talk about uh, recording in the booth individually? Uh, because it just, it, it sounds like you guys were in the same room. Honestly, everybody was in the room. It does sound like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's a testament to the engineers, the creatives, the post-production posse, um, because I went in there to do a very specific job and it had nothing to do with anything else, right? Right. I mean, I didn't, um, I was there to just, you know, voice a character that is like, you know, a picture on a page and then to come in tonight and see how the whole conglomeration happens is, um, it's so magical. I love what we do. We're lucky. Yeah. yeah. And to, I, I think this is a, th- I think this is kind of a superpower of theater people. Um, you know, we, we do have, we're crazy, right? I wear that with a badge. Of, I wear that as a badge of honor. No right? doubt. Artists. But, but we come into things and we really, I, I know that we come in to do something specific. Like Daphne said, you know, I walked into the studio and the best get of it for me was to have Vivian and also other people reading the, the characters alongside whoever I was supposed to be in a scene with this whole time. And that's like hours and hours of, of doing work with them. And they provided really great context. So when I'm in the midst of watching scenes between myself and Alex Brightman, I'm like, Oh my God, it's Brightman. And we know each other as friends for such a long time, but we, we did not get to be in the room together. So to have, um, to have that happen is, is, is really unique. And I think a testament to, to our crazy brains of wanting to bring as much as much high octane, you know, high stakes drama, which makes it work. Look, I can't wait for people to see this show because it is absolutely incredible. And like I said, the music hits. Every single song is absolutely incredible. I can't thank you guys enough for your time. I really appreciate it. Happy New Year. And again, the show's amazing. Yay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good blessings.